In his book, Profit Over People, Neoliberalism and Global Order, Noam Chomsky delves into the profound impact of neoliberalism on global society. Through a critical lens, Chomsky dissects the neoliberal paradigm, revealing its prioritization of profit at the expense of human welfare. His analysis exposes how neoliberal policies and corporate interests have shaped the modern world, perpetuating inequality and undermining democratic principles. Chomsky argues that neoliberalism, as an ideology, promotes a market-driven approach to every aspect of life, championing privatization, deregulation, and free trade. This economic doctrine, Chomsky contends, serves the interests of the wealthy elite and multinational corporations, consolidating power in the hands of a few while neglecting the needs of the majority. He highlights how these policies have exacerbated wealth inequality, widening the gap between the affluent and the marginalized. Moreover, Chomsky scrutinizes the neoliberal emphasis on deregulation, citing examples of how it has led to environmental degradation and exploitation. He criticizes the prioritization of profit over environmental sustainability, noting the adverse consequences on ecosystems and communities worldwide. The unchecked pursuit of profit, in his view, has resulted in environmental crises, jeopardizing the well-being of future generations. Chomsky further explores the repercussions of neoliberal globalization on democracy and sovereignty. He argues that the expansion of corporate power and the influence of financial institutions have undermined the autonomy of nation-states. This erosion of sovereignty, he contends, diminishes the ability of governments to act in the interest of their citizens, as policies are increasingly shaped by corporate interests rather than public welfare. Central to Chomsky's analysis is the examination of how neoliberalism has shaped labor relations and human rights. He highlights the exploitation of labor in pursuit of cost-cutting measures by transnational corporations, often leading to precarious working conditions and the erosion of workers' rights. Chomsky asserts that the neoliberal agenda disregards fundamental human rights, prioritizing profit margins over the well-being of workers, particularly in developing nations where labor regulations are often lax. Additionally, Chomsky addresses the role of media and propaganda in perpetuating the neoliberal agenda. He contends that mainstream media, often controlled by corporate entities, serves as a tool for disseminating pro-neoliberal narratives while silencing dissenting voices. This control over information, he argues, shapes public discourse and limits critical analysis, hindering efforts to challenge the neoliberal status quo. In conclusion, Chomsky's analysis of neoliberalism in Profit Over People presents a scathing critique of the economic and political system. He emphasizes the detrimental impact of neoliberal policies on society, highlighting their role in exacerbating inequality, undermining democracy, exploiting labor, and jeopardizing the environment. Through his exploration of various facets of neoliberalism, Chomsky calls for a re-evaluation of societal priorities, advocating for a system that prioritizes human well-being over profit-driven motives. Please note that the word count is around 401 words, leaving room for expansion or further elaboration on specific points from Chomsky's work.